Hi, it's Jan Beta again, and today I'm going to conduct a little experiment. Mainly, this experiment is another good excuse to use my beloved scope here. So here's what we're going to do. Mm, we all know these little fellows, which are uh, USB plugs, and these are supposedly they look as if both of those um, were made by the by my beloved Apple company. I don't yeah I don't really love Apple that much, but um, the stuff they make, especially these little things, are very well um, constructed. And um, as it happens, one of those is fake. I marked it some time ago. Um, yeah, beautifully marked here. This one is a fake one, and you can't see it from the outside. They look nearly the same. The CE sign looks a bit different, but there are also um, genuine Apple ones where this looks the same as with the fake one. So, yeah, the plan is this lit experiment involves an a uh, USB cable that I cut. Um, the other end was broken anyway, so I just cut it. And some test leads I made myself, which are not really uh, good test leads at all, but they have these little clamps, so I can um, affix them to the wires here. These are the wires where the USB um, conducts the 5 volts um, power. And I'm gonna measure how well um, the 50 Hertz of the mains power is filtered out. And an educated guess of mine would be that the fake one does only a very half-assed job on that while the Apple one is probably doing quite a good job on that. But we'll see in a second. Um, what, I'm gonna, what I'm also going to do is to uh, measure which voltage these put out. Um, I'm going to try without a load first, I guess. I suppose they should put out around 5 volts without a load. And... Yeah, I don't want to try with a load. This experiment is mainly to test how well these things filter the mains frequency. I have my little fluke meter here and I'm going to put it on volts DC. And I'm going to turn on the backlight because it's better to see. And I have the, the little clamps here connected to the inputs of the multimeter. And let's see, this is the, the genuine Apple one I have connected. Let's see if anything's coming out there at all. So yeah, that's 5.15 volts DC. And it seems to be quite stable. So let's check the other one. So this is the fake one, as you can see here. I'll turn it on. Oh, and it even puts out a bit more. It's 5.3 volts DC. So at first glance, this seems nice. So let's turn it off again and hook up the oscilloscope and see maybe that's a bit of a moment of truth um i now set the oscilloscope to the ac setting um yeah, and this is what we get from the fake one there's a lot of flutter and um disturbance on here and yeah as you can see if I put it in the, the original one 
there's a lot less flatter on this. Um, the whole um, line is a lot flatter, which is very good. This means that the filtering in the, the original Apple one um, is really, really nice. And it's a nearly, um, nearly a flat line. The the ideal would be, if it would be ideal DC, this line would be completely flat. But it's much nearer to the ideal in the Apple one. This is the fake one again. Wow. Um, yeah. So no wonder the these things don't work that well. Um, the Apple ones never failed on me actually um they are quite robust and they uh put out a much nice nicer filtered uh, power so i highly recommend using those over the cheap fake ones yeah that's something i wanted to share um i suspected something like this um on the fake one um so yeah I recommend you buy the real ones or at least um, some better one than these one dollar China knockoffs of the um, Apple stuff. Thanks for watching. If you want to support me, uh, click on the little donate button that is in my channel header. There's now also a new Patreon button if you want to support me on a regular basis, which would be highly appreciated, of course, um, because I basically don't have that much money. Um, so, uh, you can also, if you don't want to donate, you can also give it a simple thumbs up, which helps a lot on YouTube. Um, you can comment on this, uh, subscribe to my channel. I'm very happy about every new subscriber. Um, yeah, that's basically it. That's what I wanted to show you on this little experiment. So, thanks for watching. I'm Jan Beta. See you next time. Bye.